is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, I'm going. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about the Memphis Grizzlies getting Gorgie Jane. From the Minnesota Timberwolves, a guy that has played with the Minnesota Timberwolves his whole entire career and now he's gonna be playing in a new place and is gonna be in Memphis a team that's really making a lot of moves this trade deadline trying to get better trying to bolster their roster and build around their young core and give them as many pieces as they can to close out the season as the AFC or higher and Memphis has did a fantastic job building this team with the veterans and with the youth and helping and finding ways to build the right foundation for them to be a great team in the future, but also build upon what they're doing this year and trying to ride this momentum all the way to the playoffs so they can get that experience and they can get that type of look that they never had before. So I like this pickup for the Memphis Grizzlies just because they gave up really nothing. They ended up trading for James Johnson and Drain Johnson ended up getting flipped for Gorgie Jane, who's on a four-year, $64 million deal but he's going to be a free agent in a short amount of time. So if it works out, you know, this could be a guy that they can possibly keep or really want to keep around in the future. And then if he doesn't work out, they ain't really locked into him long term to where they're stuck in salary cap hell. And at the same time, they can always just let him walk or trade him when he becomes inspiring. So when I look at this trade, I see Gorgie Jang as a solid backup that – can be a solid rim protector if he plays in the paint. But if not, he can be a guy that can stretch out the floor just like Jaron Jackson at that four or five position. He's a legitimate 6'10", 252 pounds. He's only 30 years old, so he has a lot left in the tank. This is a guy that shot 44% from the field and 38% from three so far this season with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Even though he's only getting 16 minutes per game, he has been a guy that has contributed at in, in those 16 minutes and then you look at his career his career high was 10 points a game when he was playing 27 to 30 minutes that's just because he can fit in and camouflage with multiple teammates just because he doesn't need the ball to be effective he doesn't demand the ball he doesn't ask for the ball he doesn't force up shots he takes quality shots and he's smart about what shots he does take and he's a guy that's really going to vouch for you. He's really going to play hard. And he's going to go out there and do whatever the team needs him to do. I think that this does help them because it gives them another piece. Just in case Jaron Jackson does go down because he has been a little injury prone. And he has had, had nag, nagging injuries. And having a guy like Gorgie that can come off that bench or even replace him if he gets injured. Or they want to go small. Or they just want to um, play two bigs that's mobile that can guard the, the stretch fours and the stretch fives, they can have Gorgie out there because you we know Jonas Valanciunas isn't the quickest, isn't the fastest guy, and he's not the greatest three-point shooter at this point of his career. And Gorgie can do those two things that Jonas can't do. The best part about it is now you have both of those players for when the team does go big or when the team tries to stretch the floor, you have size at all three at both at both positions at the four and at the five position and i think that that was a smart way for the memphis grizzlies to pick him up because i didn't see him going to memphis out of all trades but memphis has been active they they, they re-signed dylan brooks they made the iguodala trade they have brought back josh jackson from the g league they really buying into this team they really having fun with this team and they really believe that this team has something special going on and they're trying to find the right pieces to put around them so that way they can make the playoffs and get that experience and get that 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 fight and, and that grittiness in them that they have shown all season but this is a team that's very exciting to watch 
I really love seeing them play. They bring a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and I think Gorgie Jane can do the same thing for this team. But not only that, it's just good to see a young team go out there and fight and, and go out there and play hard against anybody and feel that they can beat anybody in the entire NBA. And John Moran is a guy that's talking that talk and walking the walk, and he's going out there, going at every single superstar, letting them know that I'm not scared of none of y'all. Yeah, y'all got a better team. Yeah, y'all got more experience, but I'm coming. And if I haven't arrived now, I will let y'all know that in your face. I'll let you know that on the internet that we're going out here competing. We don't care who we play against. We don't care what your record is. We don't care how good y'all is. When you play us, you're going to respect us. When you play us, you're going to feel us. And they have done that so far this season, especially in the last two months. And a lot of it has to do with the pieces fitting, them getting healthy, and them getting on the same page on both sides of the court. And that's something that I personally didn't see coming, but it ended up becoming reality, and I can't deny it that and i have to give them credit on that this menace this memphis team is just really amazing they are and they have defied the odds already but so far they're above 500 who would have thought them after getting off to the start that they got off as one of the worst teams in the nba who would have ever thought that this team would be one game above 500 two months ago they were just so bad and so many players was banged up and injured that it didn't look like they can do what they're doing right now. And they're doing it on a nightly basis. They're not just winning one game and losing. They're going on win streaks. They're closing out games. They're competing each and every game. And I didn't really see that happening this season. And and I even doubted that they'd make the playoffs, and now they're above 500. So they have been a team that has silenced all the critics, silenced all the haters throughout this whole entire season, and they have had fun doing it. And they're young, they're learning, they're growing, but they're out there just just being masterful. They, they, they mastermind, they're geniuses, and I have to give them love and support for that. But when it comes to this pickup, this is an excellent pickup. This gives them something that they didn't really have outside of Jaron Jackson, and now they have another guy that can really do multiple things. So when it comes to this trade, when it comes to seeing what Minnesota's trying to do, they're trying to change the way they built. They're adding some more pieces. They're switching out some pieces. And James Johnson is a guy that can be a stretch four for them, sometimes a stretch five, depending on what lineup is out there. And if Towns is, is healthy, losing Andrew Wiggins changes the way this team plays and the way the offense and defense is going to be. But they, they're getting out of a lot of these pieces that don't work. They made it to the playoffs with Jimmy Butler. After they lost Jimmy Butler, they could never really get things going consistently. And, and now they got to figure out who to get rid of, who to build around, and let's change some things around before we lose Carl Anthony Towns by happening to be forced to trade them or get rid of them. So that's not what the Timberwolves want to see. They want to see Towns stay in a uniform for the whole career because he is one of the best players in the entire NBA. He is one of the best, if not the best, all-around offensive center that we have ever seen. Being able to shoot the ball as easy as he does from the free throw line, from the three-point line, from the mid-range, and being able to post up, and he has the push shots and the hook shots. So it's nothing that Towns really can't do besides play defense and protect the rim. Other than that, this is one of the most complete centers that we have ever seen in our entire life. And it is sad that he's wasting his talent in Minnesota and they're not putting a competitive team around him. But now they're trying to try some different things, go in a different direction. And hopefully Towns is patient enough, especially after getting D'Angelo Russell, to really stay with this team, buy into this team, and really go out there and see what they got um, for this season. So this Minnesota team is just totally different and they going in a different direction and we really not going to be able to see what they can do until next year and hopefully they can make some more moves in the off season to make this team a lot more competitive and really get Towns happy and really feel like he has a chance to win the title or even at least make the playoffs next year and that's something that they seem like they can do this year and then they start coming back down to earth and now they out of the playoff race completely and now with the trade of Andrew Wiggins they have gave up on that duo that people feel like can be Shaq and Kobe and they didn't even come close to that 
but at the same time I didn't think they would anyway and now they're going in a different direction and trying to shake things up and get some of those old players out of there and bring some new ones in and I don't think James Johnson is going to be a big difference maker I don't think he's going to be a key contributor to this team turning it around but what it does allow them to do is really switch it up and and I really want to see this new Minnesota team and see how they operate see how they defend see how they how, how their offense is and see how well the duo of Towns and Russell is and, and adding floor spacing really helps this team and remember Towns can play the four if he needs to or the five offensively and defensively even though he's not a great defender neither is D'Angelo Russell or James Johnson or that fact, but at least they're trying to go in a different direction and shake it up a little bit just because the old way ain't working and the old players ain't working. So why not, you know, let them go when they've proven that they can't win with that roster for the last three seasons. So let me know what you guys think. I read every comment. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like the video to show support. Thanks for everybody that watched. Thanks for everybody that liked the video in advance. Also, check out my Facebook page and also the playground.com. Link will be in the description in the comment section below. Also, check out my Facebook page and also the playground.com and my website. They both will be in my description in the comment section below. If you want to buy merchandise, I have it on my Facebook page. I can ship it out to you. Um, if you want to support the movement, thanks for supporting the brand for the people that continues to buy merchandise and that have already purchased purchase merchandise i appreciate it and i thanks for the love and also let me know what you guys think about this trade do you think it matter do you think it won't matter do you think memphis got the deal do you think they got a steal or do you think they they got the better player in this trade most time whoever get the better player usually win the trade and i think gorgie dang is the better player and he does fit a lot of versatility and, and really give them a lot of chances to shake things up offensively and defensively in Memphis and they're going in the right direction and they're showing that they really believe in this young core of Brooks, Jaron, Jonas, and, and Ja and now they're messing with a lot more wings and a lot more bigs to really get his team depth which they didn't really have coming into the season and they have after these trades by the deadline so shout out to the Memphis Grizzlies keep doing y'all thing.